First time you met Tom Brady was when, Charles? Man, that had to be 1995. Mm. You know, it's been it's been a long time, man. But I mean, we we were freshmen together at Michigan, so uh, it's been a long time ago, Rich. And now, I mean, so what is it like to see him 24 years later after what you and he uh, you accomplished, and he is still accomplishing, Charles? Yeah, man. It was, you know, it was great to you know see him and uh, you know spend a little time with him. It had been a couple of years. You know, since I really, you know, was able to just sit down and chat with him for a little while. Um, but it's it's just crazy, you know, to, you know, see him walk in that door, you know, as a six-time Super Bowl champion. I mean, you know, people always ask me all the time, yeah, what what did you see in Tom Brady in school? You know, did you ever think he'd be this good? And, you know, it's, it's just crazy to come, you know, to be here 20, you know, four years later and him, you know, being a six-time Super Bowl champ. So, um, yeah, it, it was fun to just sit and, sit and chat with him a little bit, you know, and just, just try to get inside his mind a little bit. So, uh, and uh, at, in terms of getting inside his mind, uh, it seems from what I have heard, uh, you tried to get inside his kitchen a little bit. Where you did you bring up the tuck rule with him <laughs> moment, Charles? Did that actually happen, or will we see that tonight on on Epics this evening, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you kind of got you, you got to stay tuned to see you know what happens. But yeah, uh, you know, I kind of I started it off. I started it off with that. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, you <laughs> that, guys have to watch it tonight and see. <laughs> see that was what, your opener. That was your opener, Charles. <laughs> that, that was my hello. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you do you uh, hear about that, Charles Woodson? About the tuck rule? Yes, sir. Man, I you know, Rich, I feel like I hear about the tuck rule every day. I feel like it comes up somehow, some way, in some conversation, you know, the tuck rule. You know, I mean, especially, you know, when you run into uh, Raider fans uh, on a daily basis, they'll always say it was still a fumble. So, I mean, you can never, ever get away from that play. I'm sure I'll be hearing about that play, you know, for the rest of my life. So, all the time, Rich. Well, I know you commented on it on Twitter, so I want to get it uh, fresh right here. We had uh, uh, freshly minted Pro Football Hall of Famer Ty Law on the show recounting that night here. Uh, let's uh, pause our chat for a moment and stroll down this memory lane and get your comment on the other side. Yeah. Cause it was funny because after the game, you know, normally every time I play against Charles, we meet up in the parking lot and, you know, just chop it up. But mm-hmm. after that game, I'm coming, you know, by his buses. I'm like, we're – with Charles, you know what I mean? He ain't going to come all this boy. So I seen when he came up, I was like, Wood. He walked straight on the bus. So in typical <laughs> Ty Law fashion, I'm going to go and say, man, you're going to come talk to me, man. It's just a game, even though it was to go to the Super Bowl. So I walked on on the bus, on the front of the bus. And I'm like, Wood. You, you know, board, I, your Raiders I, bus? Yeah, I boarded the Raiders bus. And then everybody was sitting there looking. So I said, you ain't come out. He said, man, I ain't with that, man. I ain't with that. And I was like, <laughs> F y'all did. That's why y'all lost anyway. And I ran off. The whole, <laughs> the whole team about got up was like, you know, about to try to come chasing me and stuff like that. So I hurry up and ran off the bus. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, Rich, man, that's that's true story, man. I mean, and it, and it happened exactly that way. <laughs> I mean, after the game, you know, we're all – we're all really pissed off about the game. And, uh, you know, everybody has heard my quotes after the game. You know, it, it was bull. You know, so I was I was mad, man, because I felt like we were robbed. Uh, you know, Raider Nation felt we were robbed. The team grew and everybody felt we were robbed. And, of course, man, I'm not in the mood to talk to anybody. And Ty, everybody knows that's my main man. And uh, it was like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even look at him, man. So I got on the bus, man, and here he comes, man. He steps up the steps in the front of the bus. Hey, 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 Tyler, what's up, man? I'm like, Ty, man, come on, bro. We, we, we ain't doing that today. <laughs> oh, all right. You, you said well, that's that. why y'all lost that. Then he, he ran off the bus, man. And I'm sitting there like, because he's my boy. You know what I mean? So right. everybody on the bus, not only are they looking at him, but then they're looking at me like, man, this dude just came on the bus, you know, talking crazy. <laughs> dude, that, that was like, that was the insult to injury right there, man. That, that that it hurt so I mean it hurt so bad at the moment because we we really had a really good team. Uh we went there to New England, played in the snow. You know, coming from California, nobody expects you're gonna be able to play in, in, in basically a blizzard. 
Uh, and we went out there and we took care of our business. And you know what? We made the play to win the game. And, uh, you know, they overturned the call, of course, everybody knows. And then, you know, they go down, you know, kick a field goal or whatever, and then they kick another field goal in overtime, the game's over, and that's the way it ends. So, it, uh, it, it, I mean, it stung like, you know, no other game that I've been a part of in, in my short career at that time. And so, yeah, I, I, was, I was hurt. But that was, that was Ty, man. Ty, Ty, Ty is like that. Man. Ty is like that. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.